Hello everyone, this is Aaliyah Fur Babies, and I am getting ready to spruce up and clean my gargoyle gecko's enclosure. He is not going to be happy. I am using a, um, a Lysol wipe because it is clean. It's been stored upside down, so I'm just giving it another cleaning. Um just to with this just to make sure it's good and now put that in the garbage now i'm going to spray it down with water so it gives it a rinse oops and now wipe it down so it rinses any of that The wipes, we don't want to leave any residue of that behind, so that's why I will spray it down water. And I will spray it down water again with a clean paper towel and, and do the same thing. Now, I usually do it three times. I want to make sure that there's nothing left of those chemicals. That one. No, wait a minute. It goes in the compost bucket because it's only water now. So we will put that in there. We'll set that there. So I'll we'll spray it again. Number two, I had done this the same way when I had done the Krusty's holding enclosure for when I do things to their like some maintenance you can do while they're sleeping during the day for most maintenance but when you need to do the cleaning they have to be removed from their enclosure you can't do a proper job without doing that so this is what I'm doing it doesn't need a complete extensive but I do want to move things around and clean the surfaces so everything is good then I'll spray one more time wipe that clean so I'll leave no residue from that cleaner wipe that I use so but it is disinfected even though it hasn't been used and it's been stored upside down so but it's my old fish tank. I hit guppies into it. Yep. My daughter has got a frog on it. Another frog, another frog, another frog. <laughs> so, yeah. There, I laid the paper towel down. Now, let's see what else. 